EA covered our accommodations to allow us to bring you this exclusive Mad 19 content. Bad pocket presence can ruin the play before you even hit hike. It really affects how you process everything from recognizing pressure, knowing what to do once the pressure comes, or in general how you move in the pocket to avoid getting yourself in trouble. So with this video I'm going to show you how to stay calm, cool, and collected in the pocket so you make it as tough as possible on the defense. Sorry, let's do it. First off, you never want to run backwards out of the pocket. You really want to try to avoid it as much as possible. These types of shenanigans are safe for the few able to pull it off in real life like Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Carson Wentz types. One reason I don't like to do it in Madden is because since most quarterbacks are right-handed, it really cuts the field in half and whoever is directly in front of you seems to be the only option you have to throw to. And I've also always noticed whenever I do run backwards it was because I held the ball too long and or didn't step up in the pocket. So here the right side of the field scramble is blocked due to the rusher coming from there. But he could have tried to step up to buy a little extra time and in the process notice the wide open running length. Stepping up is key because it changes the pass rush angle of the rusher, gets you closer to the line of scrimmage if you do end up getting sacked, and the pass doesn't travel as long to the receivers wearing football every half second counts. But because one, he waited and didn't step up, he missed the window to extend the play and ended up getting hogged down by the pass rusher. So I always try to avoid going backwards. A slight step to the left or right to avoid somebody is great. It can make a huge difference, but backwards usually spells trouble. Here's another example of bad pocket presence. He doesn't step up in the pocket. The computer gets happy feet and ends up running right into a near sack. He could have delivered the pass to the tight end or a user would have stepped up and noticed everybody was covered and had an easy running lane. Now this is the most extreme where it seems like you got yourself sacked on purpose. We've all done this once or twice, right? He steps back too far, probably focusing on a receiver's route and runs straight into the sack where if he stepped up, he would have been able to hit the receiver about to come open across the middle. Now this is the good one. You drop back and step up after the first, maybe second read was covered in a decent amount of time, resetting the pass rush angles, even though the rusher on the left adjusted really fast, but you're still able to deliver a nice pass. Now here, this is what I mean by stepping up and then finding the opportunity to run. Even though in this example he had at least one guy open and could have thrown the post corner here. But just imagine they were both covered here. That's how you want to go about it. A settled slide to the left makes all the difference here. Now this is a good one. You stepped up in the pocket to give more time but the routes are longer developing ones. So you should have either taken off to the right. Instead he drifts to the left and is done. Sitting there waiting for the routes puts him in a bad position here. Now this one he knows he has deep developing routes so when he steps up he automatically takes off once he sees the lane. Now if the lane wasn't as clear you would have waited for the slant. Now here it's a combination. He notices guys are covered so he steps up then immediately bails. But once he gets to the line of scrimmage he levels out so he doesn't cross it and delivers a strike downfield because he kept his eyes up while running. That is so important guys. Always keep looking downfield until you pass the line of scrimmage. Now everything I went over, you can still do everything right and still throw a bad pick. So we will go over how to make better read progressions in another video. But how you handle pressure is also key. Do you, like I mentioned, roll out backwards, further limiting yourself? Do you stand tall and deliver a strike? Step up, roll out, but keep your eyes up the field? Or do you let the first get to you and hinder you every play after? Getting into practice mode is the fastest way to gain the reps so it comes naturally to develop better habits in the pocket. Sorry Sports Gamers, hope that helped you improve your pocket presence with this video and stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more Madden 19 content. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't and once you're with us hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris, thank you all for watching and be good y'all.